Hey, what's up, y'all? So today I'm working on my 2007 Suzu NQR or W4500 GMC. Um, today I'm going to be swapping out the rear differential. Uh, there's a five. 125 gears in there. I'm swapping out to 410s so I can have a little more highway manners. Um, luckily, I don't have a, a box to deal with yet. I'll be putting a bed on it when everything's done. Um, first up, at least for what I had to do, I had to take off the outer wheels so I could get the bed off. But that's not a requirement for doing the job. Right now I'm busting loose the drive line. Uh, the four 17 millimeter bolts that go around the yoke there. Then it'll be taking the axle shafts out, draining the differential of course, uh, which I'll, I'll do that before I pull the axles. And then lifting that guy out and putting that guy in. Pretty straightforward job today. We got the first three out. Working on this last one down here. Had a little roll back there that blocked the front wheels. So, I should mention this is a G73 uh, coated axle. There's my drain port. Pretty sure it's a 24 millimeter. You guys don't have to watch me struggle and break that loose obviously loose drain the oil we'll get back on video after that this is just too tight to get in there all right well that's busy draining i'm gonna get on the pulling the axles uh these should be 14s something to note there's a little Conical compression locks behind the nuts that go into the flange surface here. I haven't found a better way to pull these out other than to hit the ridge with a hammer. So that's what I'm going to do. Shouldn't have to be too violent with it. There you go. Easy peasy. Although, I did already break this side loose a couple weeks ago to verify uh, ax, you know, the splines on my axle when I ordered the uh, center section. So the other side is going to be a little bit more heavy on the hammer. Not a big deal. Just what it is. There we go, just pull it out. And then we'll get started on busting loose the diff. All right, got the perimeter bolts. All the ones I checked are 14. I do need to get this off of here, which that looks like a 12. And A weld nut, so go grab a, a 12 and break that off.
All right. All the nuts, all the bolts are taken out. There are two studs, and they're extra long, which is nice because I'm pretty certain that those are specific to help take these off. These also have two threaded holes on either side. And if I run some of these bolts down those threads, it should pop the thing off for me. Um, there's a bunch of dirt down in there, so we'll clean that out and then get to it. All right, got those sprayed out as best I could. Not very great, unfortunately. Oh, I suspect I'll have some hydraulic action going on here, but, oops. See, loose. Next hard part, lifting this thing out of here at such an awkward angle. Probably weighs, oh, I don't know, in the realm of 120 pounds, 150 pounds. Not too bad, just really awkward. Um, if I can get lucky and get a strap in here and kind of wrapped around, then I might be able to just heave ho it. Next, I'm just going to clean around the pumpkin, have a nice clean mating surface, and then uh, scoop out some of that extra goo, I guess. Don't need to see that on camera. I got all that cleaned up. I'm going to do a test fit first to make sure that this, uh, quote, new differential fits, and then I'll pull it back out and goop it up and do an actual one install. Right. 
Uh, uh. All right, fits into the cradle. I'm gonna send one of the axles in just to verify. So I didn't measure it, but by feel, the backlash in the new diff feels good. So I'm not concerned. That gears look super nice too, so it doesn't look like anything's been beat up on it. All right. Look up the torque spec. All right, the uh, book says the differential bolts will all be 43 foot-pounds. Which I'm sure I exceeded with the Ugga Dugga gun, even though I had it on. Oh, well, maybe not.
got the oh, conical washers. Called out 36 foot pounds. 36. All right, drain plug, uh, I mentioned it, 24 millimeter. Spec shed, 62 foot pounds. Seems like a lot, but that's what it says. Uh, the plug was mag had, had a magnet embedded in it. And it has a copper crush ring. So that's cool. If I can just get up in there. There we go. shallower socket would be more ideal. Jeez, that really seems like a lot. Yeah, we're going to stop there. So I'm stopping short of 62. That, uh, I didn't like that. Hopefully that was just the copper slipping. Uh, all right. Um, and then i to get this back on here. to get the drive shaft back on I'm gonna put it uh, in neutral get this all lined up or not I remember to undo the brake Well, there's a problem. Hopefully it's not. Let's... There we go. Yeah, 
right, crisis averted. <laughs> you saw the flange is uh, rectangular, so you can only bolt it on in one orientation. And then we got to go find uh, 11 quarts of 90 weight GL5. Um, that seems excessive because I feel like I didn't pull 10 quarts out. However, that's what it says, so that's what I'll buy, and I'll use what I use and return what I don't. Or keep what I don't. Whatever. You know, one thing I would actually have really liked to have done is uh, shoot some lubricant onto the gears before installing it. Get a little pre-lube action, but because um, the uh, the shipper obviously sprayed it all clean, you know, so they could ship it without having to worry about hazmat, which is fine. But I should have pre-lubed it. But I'm just going to rely on driving it slow and getting the lube all up in there without any issue, hopefully. It is what it is. terribly concerned about it because these gears were in use prior all the bearings so it's not like they're gonna be ran dry for the very first time they've okay so these have a torque value of let's see here jerk propeller 76 foot pounds which seems like a lot again so i'm just gonna get them down as tight as i can by hand Click. Click. And click. All right. All right. The very last thing will be it up and drain plugs right here or the fill plug rather so we'll fill it up till it runs out and call it a day now the fun part Ten point six quarts, according to the manual. So I got uh, three gallons. So only need two and a half, roughly. Or I guess it's ten point six liters. It's ten point something. Either way, three gallons will cover it. <laughs> Uh, the drain plug was another 17 mil with a uh, copper crush gasket on it already. You know, all in all, I gotta say that uh, this has been one of the easiest re gears. I love third members. I don't know why every differential ever made is not a third member. 
I hate setting up gears uh, inside the pumpkin, dealing with shimming it all correctly. Third member, you just crank the uh, crank the preloads on, and everything's good to go. It's so easy. And then you just toss it on in. You can do everything on the bench, and then just toss it in. Feel like everyone already knew that like as far as cars and trucks are concerned we should have all learned that from the ford nine inch that's been around for what 60 years at this point longer than that you know dana and corporate and um Well, whatever else. The one that starts with an S, his name's escaping me. You know, that could have done third members. I'm sure it was some copyright thing, though, but damn it. That should be it. Kind of waiting for it to just start pissing out of the open spot in the fill hole there. Or hell, maybe I'll just overfill it and let it all drain out. It's not like I'm going to save half a thing of fluid. Yep. There we go. Overfilled. Fine by me. nice thing, you know, kind of auto levels, more or less. All right, we're going to call that good. I am at a little bit of an incline. There it is. All done. I kind of want to take it for a drive, but uh, I can't. So, I mean, I could, but they got the road all tore up. At any rate, uh, 2007 Isuzu NQR or GMC W4500. Uh, uh, rear differential, re-gear, the easy way. If this gear ratio doesn't work out for me, I'll wind up buying a set of gears and re-gear my other differential, uh, the original one. I actually kind of wanted to do 430s, uh, but I couldn't find 430s, so this is where we're at. I don't know if this will be useful to anybody, but there you go.